Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mind Your Exam. So in this video we will be studying the Python program to check whether a string is symmetrical or not. So by symmetry we basically means that the first half of the string should be same as the second half of the string. So if there are uh, even number of characters in a string then we will compare the first half with the exact second half of the string and we'll divide that string in the exact middle. But if there are odd number of characters in the string, then in that case, we will leave the middle character and compare the characters lying to the left of the middle character, that is the left half of the string, and the right half of the string to the right of the mid character. So here are three examples in which you can understand what symmetry is all about in strings. So this example, Coco, is a symmetrical string because the first half, KHO, is exactly similar to the second half, which is KHO again. Now this is the second example, ABCAB. This is an odd number character string. That means there are odd number of terms in this string. So what we'll do, we'll compare the first half and we'll compare it with the second half to the right of the mid character. Here also the first half is AB and the right second half is AB which is exactly the same and the mid character is again common if we consider it both to the left side and the right side. That is why this particular string is also symmetrical. Coming to the third type which is an example of a non-symmetrical string. Now this string reads KO when read from the leftmost position till the mid position but it reads OK when it is read from the mid position to the last position. So since the first half and the second half are not the same, so this string is not symmetrical. So now how to write a program with, to check whether a, a string is symmetrical or not. So what we are doing is for the given string, I have written a function which will be passed as an argument to uh, which will take the user string as an argument and inside this function what we will do every time we will check the first character of the left part of the string and the first character of the right half of the string and when both these first characters match we will proceed to the second character of the first half and then to the second character of the second half and so on. So our first step would be to find the length of the string. We are finding the length of the string because we need to know how many characters are there. And once we know the characters, we can then find the mid index or the mid position. So if the length of the string is which is obtained using the length predefined inbuilt function, if this length modulo 2 is equal to equal to 0, that means it is completely divisible by 2, then it means that there are even number of characters. In that case, our middle index would be the value of length integer division 2. That means we will obtain uh, the result which is obtained after integer division of length by 2. So we are finding the mid index. Otherwise, if the length of the string is not even, in that case, we will put the mid index as length integer division 2 plus 1. Okay, so we are leaving the middle character. If there are 5 characters in the string, then the length would come out to be 5. This condition would become false because 5 remainder or modulo 2 will not give you 0. Okay. So you will come to the else part and here the value of mid would become mid equal to 5 integer division 2 which comes out to be 2 plus 1. So the second half of the string would, be, uh, would begin from 2 plus 1 that is the third index. Okay, The first half will go from 0, 1 and 2, 0 and 1 at 2 position or at 2 index the mid character would be lying. And at 3 and 4, you will get the second half of the string for a string containing 5 characters. Now, once we have calculated the mid, so we know 
that the first half would start at index 0. So we have taken a variable start 1, assigned the value 0 to it and the second half will start at this position, the mid position that we have calculated and that is why we have assigned start 2. So be very careful not to use the value mid as start 2. You need to assign the value mid which you have calculated here to another variable just like I have assigned it to a new variable start 2. This is because when we run the while loop every time in each iteration the value of start 2 will be changed. We will move one step ahead as we keep on comparing characters in the first and the second half. So we want that the mid index should remain fixed while we increment the start 1 and start 2 index values. Okay. Now another variable that we have taken is the flag variable which is set to true. This variable will be used to break out of the loop as soon as there is a mismatch in the first character during comparison. First character means whenever the first mismatch occurs in either uh, in the left and the right part in either character. Okay, As soon as the first mismatch occurs in the characters then we see then we understand that the string cannot be symmetrical. So let's proceed ahead. Okay, So here we are writing a while loop. This while loop will continue running as long as the start one variable is less than mid because the left half would lie from 0 till mid minus 1 and the second half would lie from mid to n minus 1 that is length minus 1. So we have to check both these conditions and only when both these conditions are true we will proceed. So while the starting of the left part is less than the mid and the starting of the end part is less than the length of the string we will continue in this loop. Now inside the loop we are checking whether the character that is present at start 1 index is equal to the character that is present at the index start 2 and if these characters are equal this is the equality sign then we will move one step ahead in the left half of the string by incrementing start 1 and we will also move ahead in the right half of the string by incrementing start 2. Otherwise, if this condition is not true, that means there occurs a mismatch. So we will come to the else part. In the else, we will set the value of flag as false and we will break out of the loop. So this break statement will end the while loop and it will bring us out of this loop to this particular if condition. So here we are setting the value of flag as false because when we come outside the loop, we check the value of flag. If flag basically means if the value of flag is equal to true, that means there was no case when we entered this else part and there was no case when uh, any mismatch occurs. That means all the characters in the first half and the second half matched with their corresponding indexes. Then in that case the string is symmetrical. Otherwise if the value of flag is false which will happen when the string is not symmetrical. So we will print the string is not symmetrical. Okay. So this was the entire code that we have just seen. You can pause the video and note down this code and dry run it and then also execute it. So let's execute this code for uh, the three examples that we saw. When we execute it, so let's first execute only for the first case, Coco. Since this string is symmetrical, so the value that has been returned to us is the string is symmetrical. Now running it for the second case, calling this function with the value k o h q then we get the string is not symmetrical because ko is not equal to oh okay and in the last case if we use an odd length string and then check then it comes out to be symmetrical again okay so this was all for today's video i hope you have understood the concept of symmetry in strings thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam